Crime and Consequences is the second segment of the eighth episode of the 17th season of Arthur. And in this one, they've made a Ferris wheel out of toothpicks. And when George goes back into the room to get Wally, he accidentally completely destroys the Ferris wheel. And we, the viewer, know this. We also know that a bit of the fabric for, from Wally's outfit gets caught on the table. And Binky gets framed, not because of George, but he gets framed for this crime. Or rather, somebody accuses him. It's not so much framing. He's in the wrong place at the wrong time. And Binky is understandably determined to prove his innocence. But can he find out what really happened? This honestly took a direction I was not expecting. And I have to say, Binky was a, a very admirable character here, and I rather enjoyed his performance. George definitely felt the pressure of being guilty. And there's a very clear message there that if you do something wrong and somebody else gets blamed for it, the best thing to do is to just own up. Otherwise, that guilt may very well just eat away at you, um, which I think is something that um, most people experience at one point or another. It's not the most interesting episode not that much happens and i feel like because we know who did it it there was no real mystery i guess the only mystery was will people ever find out the truth but i think they could have done the episode from a completely different angle and kept the mystery of who did it but then the message of the guilt eating in a way they might you know that message wouldn't have been there so it would have been a more interesting narrative but the message wouldn't have been the same so I can understand why they did it this way. Not the most interesting episode, but also not the most predictable either, which I think is also definitely something that's um, praiseworthy. So needless to say, Crime and Consequences is not my all-time favourite episode, but there are definitely some positives to it.